Okay, so this morning, we've got a busy day ahead. I've actually got to photograph some metal. Um, and being more specific, they are metal um, tools. Um, manufacturing companies use them to shape their products. Someone has to make those tools and this company makes those tools. So we're gonna photograph them. They want something a bit more out of the box, a bit more hero shotty. So they want to show, they just want something to symbolize that you can use on the front of magazines, etc. They're not looking to show the part per se, although we might do some of those. This isn't about that, it's not their sales on a website the way they want a product photo. They want a hero shot, they want it to look good. So we're gonna use some lights, we're gonna use different backgrounds. And this stuff's um, tungsten. Tungsten? No, titanium. <laughs> tungsten, I'm thinking of lights earlier. Uh, titanium, it's expensive. Yes, and they've let me loose with it. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure it's all good, yeah. So we're going to do that this morning, we're going to set up, we've got a few different ideas, we've been through and discussed ideas with them. Now we're going to try and put those into practice. It does, or they do, weigh an absolute ton, this stuff. So this will be interesting to see. Um, I'm tempted to do it on the stronger table because, yeah, I don't want this collapsing during set. So I am going to do it on a slightly different table, uh, but we'll get that set up now. So we've got that little table set up and it's important to have working space. So we've got the table set here, we're gonna drop all the extra bits and pieces that we're gonna need for this shoot onto here so that we've got it to hand. There's nothing worse than having to go back and forth and fetch something and there's nothing worse than having stuff just on floors, etc, etc, because it just wastes time. It's not neat either. Keep your workspace tidy and things flow a lot, lot easier. So I'm gonna drop this over onto the thing there, the tripod over there, and we'll get started. These are bloody heavy. Hence why I need in the stronger unit. Okay, so I've decided we're gonna start with the really easy shots first and get into this. Cause it's still early morning. It's not even nine o'clock yet. So I figured start a bit earlier. We will get the easy shot. I say easy, but they've got to look absolutely stunning. So we're gonna tether up to a laptop over there so that we can get and see the high quality. I don't wanna look at this afterwards and go, oh, I should have done this. I need to look at it there and then and see the quality of this. Um, but I say easy because the other sets that we've got are far more complex, time consuming. It's a feel good factor. You get some good shots in the bag that you're happy with, you can move on, you feel good, you're not rushing so much. If you're rushing to get the shots done because you go, oh, I've got so many more to do, it's, it's no good for anyone. So in this case, I'm going to do the easy shots first, which are all the close-up shots. I'm then gonna do, we've got four different styles of shots to do today. Um, I'm then going to do the second easiest, um, yeah, which I don't quite know how I'm doing yet. We'll play with that. And then we get to play. And that's when we get to play with smoke and we get to play with light and everything else afterwards as well. So yeah, let's get cracking. So these parts are really tiny and I'm also wearing gloves because I want no fingerprints on these whatsoever because we will pick it up otherwise. Guaranteed. The reason I've lifted this up and I've put it onto a little magic arm there is that I really just want to get the tip of these. So if to get the tip of those, I'm going to come down quite a bit. I don't want to see the base in these. It's all about the tip of this. So I just want it black around the outside. So that's what I'm looking at when I'm doing these. And these are such tiny parts that I'm just going to pick a few out of each of these that I think are really significant and take those shots. And I think that's how we're gonna proceed with this. Okay, so one of the things I'm gonna do, I've got this tethered, well, 
we'll have in a minute when I switch it all on. But this cable that's coming down here that's tied into my laptop, I'm actually going to tape to the table because if I trip over this cable, I've got quick release on the camera on the second bit there, the extension cable, but I don't want it taking my laptop off the table because that's going to make me cry. So just think of things like that because if I trip that now, I'm going to hit that, that's going to rip the tape, it's going to give me a bit of leeway. And in fact, what I should have done is done a little loop just above it and then tied that in so that I've got a bit more leeway and it doesn't pull off when it does. Simple as that. Look after your kit. So, as easy as this is, underestimated again, it's easy in terms of the setup that we've got here. I've got a snoot on there, I've got a flag reflecting, we've got bit of a white background, I was going to do it on black, but actually I think I want it on a bit more texture, so it's a grey white that's coming out. You might see a shot in a minute. The trouble we've got is, because we are so goddamn close, it's picking up every little dust or microscopic problem with it, which means a lot of editing later on. But it is the shot that we want, so we've got to bear that in mind. As we're only going to be selective on a few items, it's not the end of the world for editing afterwards, we just have to put it in. Um, but now we're back on track after looking for half an hour for where I put the bloody snoot last time. Hidden it in a really good place. Bloody Egypt. What we're going to set up now is a little skyline. So we're thinking like New York skyline with buildings down there, but we're going to use these instead so that we're going to shoot in and we're going to pack them in. Yeah. Don't know how that's gonna come out. It was just something I saw and I thought, yeah, that could work. We shall see in a minute. Uh, we've also, I've also made little wooden blocks. So you can see these. Woo. And just sprayed them. Obviously didn't do the bottoms, don't need to. So that I can stack and have different things on there as well. This is literally just a case of playing. So let's have a little look at this through the camera and see if anything about my vision is actually going to come true. I want to add some light into this, some coloured light, so we're not going to... So we've got a Blackout Studio, which is great, makes this sort of work a lot easier. Um, and the reason I'm going to do that as well, because I'm going to do a bit of video, but I want to add a bit of coloured light into here. Yes, I could do it with gels and I can do that, but I don't need to. Um, got the video light into here. That's, at the moment, going across. We've got a uh, reflector board here that's bouncing the light back, which is fantastic. It's what we want. I'm now going to add a colour accent into these here as well. Now we're starting to get a nice sheen into there. Just sods law. That's coming in beautiful now. So, I'm going to add a little light from behind now. To give it a bit of rim lighting into there. Let's see how that does. This is straight out of camera. We're not trying to create a massive scene with loads of colour in the background or anything else like that. We're trying to just give an overview that they could use in their marketing material. So as well as taking a few shots on the tripod, I'm now going to take a few shots handheld because that gives me the flexibility to get in there and get some more creative angles. Just because you have an idea of what something's going to look like in a fixed thing doesn't mean you can't do other shots as you go along because you never know, you might get some gems in there I could have used different colours, and I've used the blue light, hopefully it's coming out blue for you. I've used the blue light because it's metal, and cold blue metal works. Trying to do other colours, yeah it just looks a bit cheap and tacky, doesn't really work, so best will in the world, I stick with blue when I tend to do metal stuff. I've tried the others, I don't like it, that's my preference. If you like it and you've got stuff done, go for it, do whatever colour suits you. I've just got into a style that I like, that I've built up over the years. Got 
got a tile on the front because we want that for the foreground image. And we're going to shoot, we're going to build a section here. And we need the gloves. So, built me wall. I'm going to do a couple of different things with this. So you wouldn't believe how heavy this stuff is. It's not like normal steel. It's horrendous. But that's a digress. Right. So with this wall, we've got two sides. We've got this really beautiful flat reflective surface, which we're going to use. But then we've also got some chamfer bits on the other side. So we're probably going to do some patterns. I'm really not sure yet what I'm going to do with that until I get some sort of layout. We've got some graphite to put down as well to come out onto the base. Yeah, we have a little experiment. So obviously we're using various lights in this. Now, I actually want to cast a bit of light onto the front of these here, but I don't want it to spill over. And obviously I'm just using, this is a little aperture, some thick light, I don't know what it is, it's just a pure white one, whatever that is. Don't know, there'll be a link down below for it. But I'm using this, so I've created a little Put a card, put the light on, and I've just created a little barn doors for it really, so that I can point the light straight down and not have it go off at the sides there. So now I can go across there, I can see in here the position, that's quite nice there. Okay, so we switch things up a little bit now, we're straight on uh, into here, we've got the background there still. But we've got a 70 to 200 lens on, we've took it back. The one thing when doing product photography like this, and especially on a low shutter speed, is make sure you turn off the vibration uh, into the let that's built in the lens, because otherwise when it's on the tripod it's going to keep going like that, and actually you're going to get a pretty shoddy picture. But I've tested, we're getting beautiful shots, and the reason I've gone long is because we've only got a small background. So by going longer, and going into the shot, I'm getting all those within that background and I haven't got to worry. If I try to go close, I'm going to get everything else from the back. So I've got to go back, zoom in, and I'm going to get that background to fill the whole of that back there. So let's have a go at that. I've rearranged the back wall and I've turned it around because we've got a chamfer on the other side, which gives a slightly different effect. So is this what dumper trips feel like when they drop all the gravel off. That's so satisfying. So the problem I have, give me a load of stuff. Oh, I find it hard to stop playing. So now we've gone and built a little pegboard out of this material, which is really nice, but it wasn't quite on the brief. So, although, let's just put that right. Although it looks nice, it wasn't there, but I think the client's gonna love it because I think it looks pretty spectacular. We're gonna get close-up shots out of it. We're gonna get a hero shot out of it as well. Um, the only trouble I've got is I can't light for both, unfortunately. I wish I could paint the others and do something with it. Obviously I can't. Don't intend to wreck the client's material. Couldn't afford to wreck the science material. It's bloody expensive, this stuff. Um, and I'm doing that while I've got the wall and it's all done before I go on to the next stage of stuff because there's quite a bit that we want to do. We've rung the client, we've gone, look, we got three out of four shots done. Um, actually, no, we got two out of four shots done because one we didn't have the material for. He's agreed for us to carry on tomorrow. Um, Luckily, we've got space because something rearranged for Monday, which is fantastic. We've got that. That's now going to go into tomorrow. We're going to do the wire mesh tomorrow with the smoke. And we've got the other bits with the smoke going through as well, which are extra. And he's going to drop the rods down tomorrow to do the suspended bit, which is a bit long the themes of what we're doing here, but slightly different, um, which I think will stand out really good. So, yeah, and I'm just, yeah, I'm flagging. It's the end of the day. Uh, we've done quite well out of this, um, but we'll get the kit ready and get it sorted for tomorrow. Now we've moved on, we've gone and created a background scene here with some wire mesh. Got some wire mesh over a blue light, so blue light's coming through into there. 
Then we've got the metal at the front and we've got a white light onto that there, so we are getting something like this. Into there now. And what we're going to do from that is just turn the smoke machine on, which is down here. We've got a pipe which is going up and it's going to feed into the back there. Not tried it with the pipe before, so hopefully that's going to work okay. So playing with smoke on your products has become a thing for me lately, to be fair, especially with the metal and stuff like that, because it's different and people like it. Um, you've got to look at what's different for your product photography, what's going to make it stand out. Yes, you can just take a picture of a product, light it beautifully, and that's great, but you've got to be able to do something else with it as well um, to make it really stand out. You're in a crowded playing field, or your client's in a crowded playing field. What are they doing to stand out? And if you're coming up with the ideas, you're also in a crowded playing field and you're going to stand out as well. So have a look for things like that. They're going to make you stand out next time you do your product photography and see how that works. Because I'm pretty damn sure that if you come up with something that's fairly different, you're going to do well. That's it now, we've done. Hope you like the results. Um, we'll show a few more of the final pictures now and we'll catch you on the next one.